Take a look at the map of the Nazi conquest during World War II. It's also one big map of stolen treasure. Hitler's Germany looted an estimated 650,000 works of art and countless family fortunes. One study says over 100,000 pieces of Nazi stolen art are still missing. The crimes of the Nazis inspired a new kind of treasure hunter, the kind who searches for treasure only to give it back. My name is Jeroen Svore. I'm a treasure finder. I specialize in finding loot that was stolen in World War II. Everything I find, everything, goes back to its rightful owners or to historical museums around the world. There is no manual for treasure hunting. You have to have the feel for it. Very Sherlock Holmes-like. And like any good detective, Yaron sometimes has to solve buried treasure mysteries using only a few clues. This is where our story begins. A man told Yaron that as the Nazis invaded the city of Łódź, his grandfather, a Polish Jew named Biederman, buried a valuable family coin collection. The Nazis established Jewish ghetto where all the Jews are ordered to gather there. Biederman wanted to hide the one precious thing he had. Do not want the coins to fall into Nazi hands. The coin collection stayed hidden from the Nazis, but it seemed as if it would be forever hidden from everyone else, too. Biederman's grandson knew his grandfather lived in Wuj, but his memory was sketchy. The grandson remembered that it was an old building with an open field and new buildings behind it. He was not sure what street it was on. The grandson also remembered that the street started with a Z. I looked at World War II maps, I looked at historical maps, and I looked at current day Wuj. Using those maps, Yaron found three likely streets, starting with the letter Z. These two streets were modern, paved. This one was still old. There was a cobble road, and I figured that an old cobble road would be the right one. Yaron thought Zaglarska Street in the city's Bauta district was the right Z street. But which house? The information he gave me was that the building was old, it had front steps, and there was a shed next to it. I went to Jegralska number seven. It was an old building with sheds next to it. So we went over here, and we dug just here. We initially hit something. I thought it was a rock, and I got disappointed. But when the shovel went through, suddenly the coins start falling out. The coins were all mint condition, German, Dutch, French, and Russian, from the 18th and 19th centuries. The coins were given to the local museum here in the city of Lodz. This makes me very proud. They're extremely important historically and emotionally. I love what I do. I think it's a privilege. I think that I found my niche. Usually the find reminds people of history, reminds people that bad things happened because bad people wanted to conquer the world. And everything I find is a lesson in history.